Refrigerant poisoning is a medical emergency that requires quick treatment. Contact your local emergency number or poison control center for help. What is refrigerant poisoning? Refrigerant poisoning happens when someone is exposed to the chemicals used to cool appliances. Refrigerant contains chemicals called fluorinated hydrocarbons. Freon is a tasteless, mostly odorless gas. When it is deeply inhaled, it can cut off vital oxygen to your cells and lungs. Limited exposure for example, a spill on your skin or breathing near an open container is only mildly harmful. However, you should try to avoid all contact with these types of chemicals. Even small amounts can cause symptoms. Inhaling refrigerant fumes on purpose to get high can be very dangerous. It can be fatal even the very first time you do it. Regularly inhaling high concentrations of Freon can cause conditions such as Breathing difficulty Fluid buildup in your lungs Organ damage Sudden death If you suspect refrigerant poisoning, call ambulance straight away. What are the symptoms of refrigerant poisoning? Mild exposure to refrigerant chemicals is generally harmless. Poisoning is rare except in cases of misuse or exposure in a confined space. Symptoms of mild to moderate poisoning include Irritation of your eyes, ears, and throat Headache Nausea Vomiting Frostbite Cough Chemical burn to your skin Dizziness Symptoms of severe poisoning include Fluid buildup or bleeding in your lungs Burning sensation in your esophagus Vomiting up blood Decreased mental status Difficult, labored breathing Irregular heart rate Loss of consciousness Seizures How is refrigerant poisoning treated? If you are with someone you think has refrigerant poisoning, quickly move the person to fresh air to avoid further complications from prolonged exposure. Refrigerant poisoning is treated in the hospital emergency room. Doctors will monitor the affected person's breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, pulse. A doctor may use many types of methods to treat internal and external injuries. These include Giving oxygen through a breathing tube Drugs and medication to treat symptoms Gastric lavage inserting a tube into the stomach to rinse it and empty its contents Surgical removal of burned or damaged skin there are no medical tests available to diagnose freon exposure. There are also no FDA-approved drugs to treat the poisoning. In the case of inhalant misuse, the affected individual may need to be hospitalized in a drug treatment center. What is the outlook for refrigerant poisoning? Recovery depends on how quickly you get medical help. Huffing refrigerant chemicals can result in significant brain and lung impact. The effects vary from person to person. The impact is not reversible even after the person stops misusing inhalants. Sudden death can occur with refrigerant misuse even the very first time.